What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video will be a how-to for you guys on how to paint your helmet. So, um, hopefully you guys already saw my how to paint your own face mask video that I released. So that's this right here that I have on it right now. In the future, we're going to probably put this mask on just because I like this one a little more, a little more lightning. And, yeah. So this is, uh, this helmet is one of the bigger parts of, I didn't talk about in the last video, I'm doing my ultimate how-to helmet. So on this helmet, everything you'll see will be how-to'd and DIY'd by me. That includes the tincture visor, uh, the face mask, the helmet itself. Might paint the clips, probably not. That's kind of, you know, it's pretty simple. Just same procedures as my other painting stuff. Uh, a couple things didn't come out perfect on the very back. It looks kind of scaly along here. Also, I just got some paint on it. Which I can rub off. Uh, the painting it, the helmet, doesn't hold up as well as doing like the face mask. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, it didn't come out as great, you know, I did the exact same thing. Uh, I also painted the bumpers because it will have some lineman football logos going on them. So making a lineman helmet. And um, yeah, so start off all the basic stuff you'll need, just like in the last video. Okay, right here. So, um, of course, if you're doing anything with tape, you know, if you're going to do a paint on a stripe, obviously some type of frog tape. Uh, for the first step of sanding it down, I used a sanding block and some 100 grit sandpaper. Next we have, what else we got here? We got your paints. So uh, I actually, my mom threw out the can, but uh, the matte, I used matte black spray paint for this, and then I used this satin gloss, but for some, or no, it's right here. I used this satin gloss, but for some reason it still came out kind of shiny. It was kind of like a weird mix, and not too happy about it, because I wish it was full matte. And so that's really the only two things you'll need is your spray paint and your clear of your choice. And the last thing, which I included in my last video, were my carabiner clip custom things, little uh, holdups I made. Uh, how I strung these through this is I put it through the two holes in the front here, two holes in the back here, strung it up in my garage like that, and that way I could easily move it uh, along the railing just for easy accessibility. Of course, you'll see that in all the footage. Uh, steps are, again, pretty simple. It's basically just sand on the shell, get it even, uh, paint it, clear it, done. You know, and make sure you do it all evenly, you know, Keep sure, make sure it's even layered. Don't get too close. You know, keep at least six to eight inches away, uh, even further, maybe you know, a foot away, just because spray paint can uh, drip, just because it's very thin. So watch out for that. And again, don't uh, do it in a very cold place. Uh, I did it in my garage where it was kind of cold, but I immediately transferred it to my downstairs, so I didn't have to worry about that. So it came out good. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest, though. You know. I wouldn't recommend black just because black shows everything. Uh, any other color may be okay. White would definitely be the easiest to do. But, um, yeah. So there that goes. And so now I'll just show you guys some footage. Okay, so the uh, first step I'm going to do here is I bought the shell for the DNA in white just so I could show you guys how to actually do it. Uh, after now that I've taken all the pads out, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sand the shell down, get it smooth, but that's also the point of sanding is to get it rough enough where the paint will stick to the shell. Okay, so uh, as you see here, I have half of it done. We'll see how well this will show in the light. So here... We have the shell. That's what it looks like. I've sanded half of it now. It's basically a flat white. Turn it around like the other side. It's definitely a lot uh, paler. I mean, um, a little more yellow. You know, and also uh, this is a great place to get off any scratches you have on the helmet. Like I have a couple right there. Also, don't forget if you're going to use this helmet in a game, don't forget about your stickers on the back. You might need to cover those up or something. You know, you could take, uh, even try and peel them off and re-put them on your certified sticker and also the sticker on the side here, you know, the Rydell sticker. There's a Rydell, what the hell, whatever. And uh, so, yeah, so there's, that's what it looks like there. And we'll do it on the other side. Do it on this side now. Okay, so now that we have the whole thing sanded, there's a little bit of crud on here just from my workbench. Hands are definitely a little filthy now. Uh, I just used a basic sanding block that we had for drywall. 
uh, really any sandpaper, 100 grit sandpaper will do. I just want this just because it gives you a lot more control. Don't forget also that you will need to sand on the edges, along here, maybe a little bit on the inside. You know, you don't need to paint on the inside, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, we'll see how well it looks with all the padding and see how much white is visible on the inside. Then I'll report that back to you guys. Also, don't forget to do all your vents on it, especially if you use something like a shut vengeance. Definitely a lot more complicated than the DNA. But uh, yeah, all helmets really have venting, so that really won't be something you can avoid. So yeah, basically this is all I did throughout the whole helmet. You just sand it down, get it down to just a base shell. Uh, now I'm just gonna use some rubbing alcohol nail polish remover, take off this sticker and a little bit of glue from the cer old certification sticker. Then I'm gonna clean up the helmet just with some water, make sure it's completely clean. And then I will show you guys me painting it. Okay, so now that we're in my uh, garage, I have it strung up just the same as I did in the face mask video right there. And now I'm just going to do a coat of matte black on it. It's a little higher than I'd like. You can see it's pretty high here right now, so I'm gonna have to use my step stool. But uh, yeah, if you're doing this, don't forget to wear some protective stuff on your face, like a mask just from all the paint. So yeah, I'm going to put on sort of matte black and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here we have the helmet. Now it's, you can tell it's starting to dry because it's starting to go a little more matte. It is matte black. But uh, yeah, so we'll dry it. Probably do one or two more coats. Not quite sure yet. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm going for the second coat on the helmet. I got a couple places I need to touch up just from the string. Uh, you don't need to do it on strings hanging like this. This is kind of just how a paint shop is. You can basically just do it on the floor. You don't have some cardboard. You see where I was painting before. I had some cardboard down, a little bit of overspray. But uh, yeah, also don't forget to move, you know, a sweeping motion. Keep it really even. That way you don't get any clumps or any dripping or anything like that. Okay, I got the first coat of clear coat on, and I did use right here a satin clear coat, just so I made sure it stayed that nice matte black. It's got one coat, and then I'll do a really nice finishing coat. That's just to make sure everything stays nice and sealed in, and there's no problems at all. A little shoddy on the bottom, fix some of that, otherwise we're looking good. Okay, so now that we have uh, two clear coats on, what I'm going to do is just let it dry. Now it's really shiny right now. I'm hoping that the satin finish means it will go back to that natural matte black that I wanted. Otherwise, it um, kind of pissed me off a bit. But we'll see what happens. Okay, final coat is done. I'm just letting it dry right here. And I'm going to leave it here for probably a day or so just to make sure it's completely dry not tacky anymore and yeah after that the helmet will be done okay guys so there's the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it now again a couple marks on a couple places didn't come out a hundred percent perfect but that's okay it's all about testing and learning for you guys so uh, I'm trying to help you guys out a bit here you know whatever it kind of looks like it has some more marks which is kind of cool so i'll leave it at that and uh custom helping you guys out a bit if you guys could please help me out and get uh go buy my lemon football stickers those are what support the show which helps get me the money so that i can buy you guys more stuff so um if you guys drop say the five or six dollars that i have it at right now if you drop that money uh then you won't have to say waste eighty dollars on a pair of gloves or 250 dollars on a pair of cleats or 200 dollars because I can get that gear and review for you guys so you guys are actually making an informed decision. So do me a favor, please check that out. Go to my website. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.